Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Nola Bloom. And today I'm just going to share a gentle vinyasa morning flow. Just super sweet, a couple of sun salutations and a couple of nice postures and some deep holds at the end. So this is just to get your morning started and let's dive in. So first, let's begin with just a very gentle meditation. So close the eyes and just start to connect with your breath. Long, deep breath. We'll just start to engage ujjayi breath, the soft constriction at the back of the throat. If you're not familiar with ujjayi breath, I do have another tutorial video that you can watch. But it's just a little slight constriction so that you can control the length of breath. A very soft inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And let's start to draw our arms in. So as you inhale, draw the arms up, touch the palms together, and then as you exhale, the hands will move down the center. Just keep your eyes closed for the first few morning stretches. We're turning our intention inward, pratyahara. It just helps to set our practice with a beautiful intention of calming the mind down. And starting the day from a place of calm and serenity. And just pausing with your hands at heart center. Good. And then remove your cushion. We're going to make our way onto our back. So your hands will fall directly underneath the shoulders, knees will fall directly underneath the hips, and let's wake up the spine with cat-cow. Inhale, the head goes up. Exhale, drop the tailbone, arch the spine. Good, and just continue to flow. Beautiful. And then take the knees nice and wide, drop the bum onto the heels and extend the arms out for child's pose. You can place your chin or your forehead onto the ground. If you need a cushion, go ahead and use one. Good, and rising up, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, and just paddle it out a little bit. One foot and then the other. Good, and then dropping the knees down. Now let's take the right arm and the left leg, extend it out. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend out. Good, start to flow. Good. And then you can stay here or wrap around, grab your ankle, kick your ankle into your hand and lift your knee. Good. Keep your gaze focused on one spot. Long, deep breath. And release. Take a child's pose. Other side, left arm, right leg, exhale, curl in, inhale, extend out, exhale, curl in, inhale, extend out. Good. And you can stay there or grab onto your ankle, kick your ankle into your hand and lift your knee. Keep your gaze focused on one spot. Good. 
Uh, take the knees nice and wide. Good. Rising up. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. Good. Look up between the hands, walk, step, or jump, lengthening the spine and fold forward. Now just dangle here a moment, release your neck. Good, and then draw the arms all the way up. Touch the palms together, and as you exhale, hands will move down the center. Sir Namaskara, Sun Citations A. Inhale, draw the arms up, touch the palm. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, lowering down. You can drop your knees if that's more comfortable, or you can do more traditional Chaturanga Dandasana. So that's going to depend on you. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. We've got five breaths, nice and strong. Focus on your ujjayi breathing. Open the shoulders. Feet are hip distance apart. Look up, just make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide. With your middle finger pointing directly forward. Look up between the hands, walk, step, or jump, lengthening the spine, and fold forward. Inhale, draw the arms all the way up and touch the palms together. Exhale, hands move down the center. Good. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, lowering down, elbows in. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Look up between the hands, walk, step, or jump, lengthening the spine, and fold forward. Inhale, draw the arms all the way up and touch the palms together. Exhale, hands go to heart center. One more time. Inhale, nice big breath. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale. Lengthen, look up, exhale, step or jump back, lowering down, elbows in, inhale, exhale, five breaths. Look up between the hands, walk, step, or jump, lengthening the spine, and fold forward. Inhale, draw the arms all the way up. Touch the palms, hands go to heart center. Hands down by the side, fingers spread nice and wide. Tadasana, roll your shoulders back. Find your drishti, somewhere to focus your gaze. Move into virksasana, tree pose. Transfer your weight onto your right foot, and you can go here. You can go a lower calf or all the way up, just not the knee. 
Place your foot against your leg. Standing leg is strong. Hands go to heart center. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then grow your branches. Fingertips are reaching up. Shoulders are moving down. Keep your gaze focused. Ujjayi breath. Palms together and release. Tadasana. Shake it out a little bit. Other side. Here, here, or here. Yeah. And grow your branches. Palms together and release. Top of the mat. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, lowering down, elbows in. Inhale and exhale. Take your right foot and step up between the hands, drop the back heel, cartwheel the arms, Virabhadrasana, warrior two. So we want to have a nice straight line across the arms. Your gaze, wherever your finger, middle finger is pointed, keep the shoulder back. Go ahead and sink deep into the knee. And then your left arm comes down, right palm comes up. Maybe it's here or maybe it wraps around. Looking up and relax your forehead. Keep your gaze focused on one spot. Back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, touch the palm. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then your hands are going to come all the way down. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, take a bow. Humbled warrior. Strong breath. Good. Hands go onto the ground. Step back. Downward facing dog. Now you can stay there, downward dog. You can rest in child's pose or flow through a vinyasa. You just decide what your body needs. Lowering down, inhale, and exhale. Yeah, then taking your left foot, stepping it between the hands, drop the back heel, cartwheel the arms. Virabhadrasana, warrior two. Make yourself a couple of adjustments. Check your shoulder alignment, looking straight forward. Good, hand comes down, palm comes up. Back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Last one. We'll come right down with the fingers. Interlace. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Push your arms forward. Good, and release, hands go onto the ground, step back, downward dog. Stay there, downward dog, rest in child's pose, or flow through a vinyasa. Inhale, could just be a gentle cobra this morning, doesn't have to be a full vinyasa, up to you. And down dog. Doesn't it feel good just getting a little movement in the body? Paddle it out. Good. 
And then taking your right heel, raise it up high, three-legged dog. And then bend your knee, bring your knee towards your wrist, bringing your shin up. Preparing for pigeon pose. Now you can just come up onto your fingertips. Or if you prefer, you can interlace your fingers behind your back. Or if there's another variation, you're welcome to do that also. Good. And then just releasing down. So close the eyes, and we're just going to soften here for a couple of breaths. Five more deep breaths. And inhale, lifting up your chest. Exhale, down dog, paddle it out. Left heel comes up. Bring your knee forward, chin to the side. Lifting up your chest. Take a nice deep breath. And again, whatever variation that you want to take, you can stay here. Perhaps you'll interlace your fingers. Or perhaps there is another variation of pigeon that you like to do. Just feel it out. What feels good? Good. And release. Lowering yourself down, find that sweet spot where you can just relax for a couple of breaths. Just a few more breaths. And then inhale, lifting up your chest. Take a nice big breath. And then we're just going to fall forward and bring our soles of our feet together. And then just grabbing onto the ankles, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Just bounce the knees up and down a couple of times. Close the eyes and soften. And then just falling forward, release your neck. Inhale, rise. Let's take the right leg and bring it out in front of you. Left heel is going to come up in front of you. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, lifting up your knee. Keep that foot pointed up. Turn. You can place your elbow on the inside or elbow on the outside. Some of you might be able to bind. If that's in your practice, feel free. Good. One breath twist in the opposite direction. And switching legs. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, fold forward.
Inhale, coming up, lifting up your knee. Keep that foot up. Twist. Good. And release. Now we're just going to turn feet onto the ground, fingertips up, and let's see if we can get all the way down without falling, nice and slow. With control, and draw your knees in. Rock from side to side. Good. Feet go onto the ground. Inhale, lifting up the hips. Interlace your fingers from side to side. Rock and put your, lift your hips up. Ujjayi breath. Victorious breath. Good. And release. Draw your knees in. Extend the arms out, just rock from side to side. Those of you that have a shoulder stand or a headstand practice, now would be a good time to stop and do that. But if you don't, then we're just going to finish with a nice twist. Allow the knees to drop all the way over towards the left. Turn your head toward, towards the right. Good, and coming up, drop your knees over the other direction. Good. Drawing the knees up, soles of the feet go together into Supta Bhattakonasana. Left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Take a few deep breaths. And drawing the knees up and extending the legs out for Shavasana. And I'm just going to leave you here in Shavasana, so rest as long as you like. Hope to see you again. Namaste.